Let's give peace to the Lord. And in reverence to the word of the Lord, let's stand up at this time. We're going to read um, the Gospel of um, Second Luke. 15, verse um, 11 and 12. Luke 15, verse 8 and 9. Luke 15, 8 and 9. And it says the word of the Lord. Luke 15, 8 and 9. Or what woman having a tent silver coins, if she loses one coin, doesn't light the lamp and sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it. And when she has found it, she calls her friends, neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I found the peace which I've lost. Amen. <coughs> the church may be seated. And brothers, um, Jesus, through all his ministry, he came to the world to bring to men the understanding about a new kingdom of something that the Father had already prepared for men. <coughs> Throughout all the time that Jesus lived here and on earth, he, he would speak in a direct kind of way. He would speak in a simple way. And he would also speak, also bringing to men something that could take away all the empty space in their heart so he could put something that would fulfill that space and that thing that it didn't exist in the life of people <coughs> and throughout many times jesus he would use parables just like we would have read this verse right here um it talks about a parable that was um it was told by jesus the parable was um, a way that jesus would use he would take the daily basis of base of the people and he would put as a history and just like that he would use all the resources so that the people they could understand what he was trying to say <coughs> we see that men even even from creation um, God when he created man he gave to him a, a packet of val value things so moral values and a spiritual and there was a, a fellowship a direct fellowship between heaven and earth there was a direct fellowship between um, God and Adam Adam and every day God would come talk to um, Adam they were friends it was given to Adam the things that exist in eternity it was given to Adam the mysteries of God <laughs> with time in a figurative way with time the man he starts now to block the project of God in his life in a figurative way. It is just like it was a wall was built between man and God. This wall now will separate. This wall now would make a separation between what was from this life and what was from God in heaven and there was no such a way that the man could start receiving from God what it was eternal the mysteries from God because this wall would be on the way 
it would be on the way for this connection. So that's why many things came that today kind of don't let men um, have this connection. It came with the, the lack of peace, lack of happiness, sadness, all that kind of stuff. But why? Because there's something in us that is eternal. That is our soul. And this soul, it can only be happy. It can only fulfill with things from eternity. I went man and now, before this wall was placed in there, with all these values, there was peace. There was joy. There was fellowship with the Lord. When this is broken, it comes all the consequences. And this is what we can call sin, disobedience, that is what starts the sin. And what do we do? So the man could again have access to the other side, because the man saw they were seeking what was on the other side. But physically, uh, humanly speaking, there was no way the man could go over this wall and reach the joy, the happiness. <coughs> that's why uh, everybody um, that's why the desperate the depressions that's why this disease that people they get frustrated why because it's nothing from this life nothing from this life can fulfill the emptiness of your soul the need of your soul so God now to fix men's problem Man now, uh, God now, he puts a door for man. And this door is Jesus. And now man, to go from one side to the other side, he needs to open that door, go through the door, and find all the mysteries from God. There is no other way. There is no other resource. And for, and for that, that's why Jesus came to earth. That's why he came. He became man. I assume that the, the characteristic of man and now he has his own ministry and now he starts to make people to go through this door. That's him. And when he comes, he knows. He starts to realize that there is a actual emptiness in the man. That he was the only one that could do what he did. Nobody else had this authority. Nobody had this condition because he was eternal. He is God. And to fix the problem of man, only Jesus. And now man, he had to go through this door. And now Jesus, when he comes here, he, he tells us this parable. And he says here about a woman having ten silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not uh, light the lamp, sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it. Jesus here he uses the situation of a, of a woman, a, house, uh, a housemaid. Here Jesus doesn't, doesn't talk about what she had in a, in a way as a, a house, a fancy house with luxury, with many furnitures, expensive furniture as I mentioned. No, he doesn't mention all of that. Because this is not what man needs. This is not what's going to fulfill the emptiness of man. This is not what's going to fulfill what man wants. Give man the experience that he wants to find out the mysteries from God. But here he talks about value. He talks about a coin, a silver coin. Um, the silver coin, uh, the silver coin was a coin that it was used before to buy, negotiate, and that's what he talks about. About a woman that had ten silver coins, she loses one. She she's not gonna light up a lamp, sweep the house, and search the silver coin. She, he uses this story, this parable, to bring the attention of men to call out their attention 
and she lost his silver coin. It was a lost coin. It was a coin. It had a lot of value. And many times, people, they're losing their coins. People inside of their homes, they're losing what's important for life. People, they're losing the values, their moral values, the spiritual values, and everything that's important for a family, the loyalty, the respect, the understanding, the sincerely, the forgiving. People that cannot forget things, they cannot be sure and it cannot be nice with the husband, son, the, the sons that cannot respect their parents. Does that has any value? Well, she had 10 and she lost one. And does that has any value? Sometimes for the world, doesn't. Probably for those who are outside from the Lord and now. Sometimes you even may hear, oh, look. Oh, there's not a problem. Life is just like that. Today, you don't need to be respect between uh, couples, that's normal. Uh, the person has to be happy, this and that. You, you hear a lot of that. There are values that are being left to the side. They're being ignored. There are values that are they're losing. What is the most important? And here Jesus he uses this woman simple um, housemaid that loses a silver coin <clears throat> but it's interesting because he brings a, a teaching because when she loses she's not going to light a lamp and sweep until she finds it Brother, here we're living now a month uh, for praying for our neighbors right we already started this month, this um, week, and so we can the authority from the Lord, so we can have a condition of being honored from God. We don't need only pray, pray, do fasting, um, invite, no, if inside of our homes, Inside of our houses, we're losing coins. We're losing our value. How are we going to talk about Jesus to our neighbors, to our work, uh, work friends, our family members, if we're losing inside of our house? So this word, it's not a, it's not a way to correct but is a warning from the Lord so we could do our, our part so we could have from the Lord a condition so when, when you go to do your invitation the Lord could honor you your neighbor could say like, this family you know, I'm going to go to the church because this church this is a good example. There's a family that we can actually see a peace. There's not a peace that you find having their troubles. <coughs> having they have something different. Why? Because the value, the, the and, the the value. And, uh, and then for us to keep that, it needs to be, it needs to have the understanding. She only lost one silver coin. And when she lost this first coin, the first thing that she did was to light up a lamp to sweep the house. She didn't wait so she could lose the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. No, it was right away. Because it's a home that is in the Lord. It is a home that is in the presence of the Lord. And a home that the struggles most of the times they show up to the 50s 
the show, the sickness, they always come. But when they show, we cannot let that affect us and affect what was given from the Lord. We cannot change. We cannot accuse. Oh, you know, I did that wrong, but I have a reason why I did that wrong. Oh, I did it wrong because this, this, and that. I have a reason. No, that doesn't exist. But tonight, the Lord is calling us. Look, when we notice situations that many times shows up, and many times when we see our kids going through a way that is not from the Lord, we need to literally light up a lamp. The lamp, it was an instrument that Israel would use on that time so it could light up their faces, show their faces, their path. It was a, it's a little instrument, a little vase that you would put oil inside. And the oil, right there, it will burn, it will burn and then uh, and it was possible for you to communicate and uh, see the things. Don't, you don't put rice, you don't put food inside of the candle, inside of the lamp, no, nothing. The only thing you put, the only thing that you were allowed to put inside of the lamp was oil. There's no other thing that you could put inside of a lamp. And we know that when the Bible talks about the lamp, what is it talking about? It's talking about our heart, the heart of man. And the heart of the man needs the oil. And the oil talks about what? The Holy Spirit. That's why there are many people that are empty. That's why there's so many people that are sad, depressed, why? because they want to put many other things. They want to put their hearts, their fame, the money, the resources from this life. They want to put inside of their hearts something, a name, this and that. But it doesn't change anything because the candle, the lamp, the only thing you can put inside of the lamp is oil. And that can, and our heart can only be fulfilled when the Holy Spirit can only have Jesus. So when this woman right here should light up the lamp, it was a signal of what? Because there was a there was a darkness inside of the house. There was no light. And when she lights up the lamp, she brings light. <laughs> so when man has Jesus, when he has the Holy Spirit in his heart, he reflects the blessing from the Lord. He brings the blessing from the Lord. He, he gives away. He gives the blessing from the Lord. Have anyone tried to weep, sweep a house when, with the light off? It's hard, huh? It's complicated. It ain't easy for you to sweep a house. Look, today I'm gonna clean my house. I'm gonna put my husband out. The kids. Today I'm gonna turn off the lights, close the window, and uh, sweep the house and clean the house. No, it's hard. It's gonna s there's a lot of dust that's gonna stay there. And dust, it gets inside. And the dust it gets inside. You know, you clean today, you clean right now. In three hours, four hours, tomorrow, you can swipe your, you know, your finger, and it'll be there. The dust is everything from the from the earth, uh, from the world. Everything that the world tries to put inside of your home. Everything that the world is trying to put inside of our house. The dust will always have. But there is one way that we can actually clean just like how the, the Lord wants. And that is what we need to do with the light up. You cannot clean a house in the darkness. There is no way. And the Lord tonight, tonight, He's given us a teaching. 
their home, they'll lose their values. Their morals, the spiritual family, the house, they start to lose. And the Lord, He starts to testify. And when it is on the Spirit, when the, when the cattle starts going through a path, the Holy Spirit goes and reveals. You can be sure of that. If you're in fellowship with the Lord, if you're inside of the revelation, if you're inside of the project, when something bad could happen, the Lord could go and He'll go and show. Because our God, He's His own own, He knows all things. He'll give a sign, either for you, a dream, a revelation to the church to the body you're here whenever you're now waiting there will be a gift that will speak to your heart and you say oh this is talking to you why because you have the Holy Spirit in your life and you're in the fellowship with the Lord you're in the revelation your lamp your heart it's full of the blessing of the Lord and now you start to sleep, you start to see the things, the details, you start to notice things, you're going to walk in from one, one room to the other room and then you go to the kitchen and then you go and you see the bathroom and you walk, you keep walking and the Lord will be revealing, the, the mom, the dad, they're in fellowship with the Lord, God always will to them. Because a servant from the Lord, he's never betrayed. He will never be caught on his prize. Because the Lord always wants our, what's good for us. And now this woman, she goes, she, uh, she, she finds the lamp, she lights up, and she starts to sweep the house. And so she finds it. The silver coin that was lost. Because the values they need to be put it back as an evidence. A servant from the Lord that he needs to be different. A servant from the Lord that he needs to have good testimony. We need to, to carry the good shield of Christ. That's why at home we need to have the peace, the joy, the happiness, the harmony. And with that, only the Holy Spirit, only if there is prayer, only if there is seek together, seek and family, the service on Fridays, if there is that, if we are doing our part, what is being revealed for us as church, God, He will honor us. And thus, we're, we're going to bring it back to value, eternal values. What is, what is the blessings? The Lord says that the blessing of the Lord it makes us rich and it doesn't bring pain. <coughs> so when we put it in practice, so we put that in order, and then, and then the servant can um, call the friends, neighbors, saying, uh, rejoice with me for I have found a peace with the, I lost the end of the month after we finish everything when we are in fellowship with the Lord doing what the Lord revealed when you do your invitation the Lord will honor you he will for sure if you come in it, or when it's the mom, the family, or the co workers, and throughout this whole year, you keep the silver coin inside of your house, the lamp light up, you're gonna be honored by the Lord for sure. And you see how this church will grow because the Lord uses the lamp to. Generate on the and it's an honor to be able to talk about the gospel. It is things that the angels wanted to do, but the Lord gave us this great blessing, this great mystery, 
that is to know and talk about the things of the Lord. So my brothers, this service it is especially for that. That is the Lord that wants to prepare us, so we could have a month, a month of victories, a month where I'm not gonna say um where we're gonna have our dedication, our disposal, our position and serving the Lord and we're going to be honored because of that Amen that this word can actually touch our hearts because that's what we want and what we want is to have a service and a month um, with happiness with joy with our friends and neighbors family members all those who are part of our cycle of life circle of friendship why? because that's how Jesus We'll come back. When the name, the number of countries are complete, the order and the power will be given. And it will be, it will go to heaven. So we need to work as a body and doing as well, so this day could come faster. So we can leave this word. So this is the word for tonight. So the, the Lord might bless us.
de adoração ao Senhor. For your sweet presence, we glorify you, Lord, because because you gave us everything, and you pour out upon us all your blessings. <laughs> We love you, Lord. We adore you for everything in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glória a Jesus. Glória a Deus. Meus irmãos, o Senhor mostrava em uma visão três vasos. Oh, three vessels that was here in front of the pulpit. And uh, these vessels they were <coughs> they were full with oil. The second one was blood. The third one was water. And uh, we we were called to fill up our lives, our lamps that we had. But it is interesting that some they had difficulties in keeping what they uh, had received from the Lord. So it's necessary um, a certain action. So when there's a servant from the Lord, he cannot keep the blessing from the Lord. It is because there's a, there's a gap. Something is making you lose what is being the blessings, uh, the teachings from the Lord, the orientation from the Lord. So you need to analyze, you need to pray to the Lord and uh, know where is the mistake. The mistake is never from the Lord. The mistake is always us. So if you have difficulties in keeping the fellowship, in keeping the the life, your life in the Lord, so you need to ask the Lord for a blessing. So you need quickly an action from us so we could have our heart all the blessings from the Lord. Amen. Let's pray uh, and in the service. If you have uh, a prayer, a um, particular prayer, we are at your disposal so you can receive the blessing from the Lord, a complete blessing. If this gift uh, touched your heart, this word, one of the songs, if anything touched your heart and you need a prayer, we are disposed oh Lord, at sake, O oh Lord, uh, our service, our adoration to, the, to you. We are grateful to you, O oh Lord, because once again we have this opportunity to be in your house, to be able to hear your voice, to hear your teaching, and now that you are with your hands upon us. Receive your blessing, O oh Lord, take us in peace. That we could have a night of rest, a day of victory tomorrow. That we could have with eyes of faith, see the angels from the Lord, ministering and acting uh, in our favor. As I pray with you, in the name of Jesus, amen. And in your name we say that the, great, the holy grace of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ, the eternal love of the Son of Father, and sweet internal consolations of the Holy Spirit, could be poured upon us now forevermore. Amen. The buzz may be seated.